if you get the good ball movement early, that really bode well for your offense down the road. Easy drive all the way in, left-handed and off the glass. Beautiful play by Kayla Green. That was a great move. And anytime you pick up in a man-to-man -man press like that, there's going to be op opportunities to drive the ball, and that's exactly what she did. Yeah, Kayla Green had 15 points against Leander just a few days ago. Going to her right, she finds Dean. Dean, no good. Rebound, round rock. That was a tough shot. Was, she wasn't open on that time. She should have took an extra pass or at least used a shot fake and got to, got to the basket a little bit with that one. Well, now is Green with the ball as she dribbles to her left again and passes to her left, finds Christian, baseline jumper, rims out, rebound. Waco going to be Shania Blake bringing the ball down court. Now looking to find her teammate and does at the top of the key, but going to be called for a travel right there as Erika Duffy did not put the ball on the court. Yeah, she got a little nervous feet there early in the morning tournament. Excuse me. Uh, but I expect Waco how to pick up again in his full court press. Yeah, you could just see the urgency trying to get the ball on the court, but forgot to put it down first. Is again we have Green bringing the ball up for the Lady Dragons. Really likes to use that left hand as she fakes to her left, pulls it back out, and now we're going to get an offensive foul. That one called on Ali Cottrell, and that'll be the first foul that we see early on in this ball game. In the right side, nice little move along the baseline, but just too much power on it now. Pushing the pace is Kayla Green. Christian. Back to Green. Green decides to go along the baseline. Great find. Gets Cottrell and ball rolls out. That's two times Cottrell had been point blank and just had it roll off the rim as the drive goes and is no good for Waco, but another offensive rebound. Second chance opportunity, no good as Cottrell gets the rebound and Round Rock, despite all these opportunities from Waco High, only down by four points. Yeah, they're, they're, they're just fine. I think, you know, this season, this season, they haven't won as many games as they would have liked, but they're going to get better, and she's going to make those shots underneath the basket, I really believe. Yeah, Cottrell there with another opportunity. Here. Blake running the point. She finds her teammate Duffy on the right side, and shot's no good, but we have a whistle, and looks like you're going to be retaining possession or the Lady Lions. See, man, if I'm Blake right there, I'm kicking it ahead a whole lot earlier and run in the lane, run to the sprint to the block and see if you can get the ball back for a basket. And Blake there with a great inside move, but the ball rolls off the rim. It's like a lids on the rim on both ends as nobody can finish up close. But to see your point there with Blake is she's able to get rid of the ball a bit earlier, can actually receive the pass and use her big body to be able to finish. When I tell you, it's awfully early. It's the first game in the tournament, so a lot of teams have a few first game jitters. Yeah, Green there with the home run pass from Christian, burning the press, and you can leak Green out, has the speed to separate. Now it's a two point ball game here under 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Welcome back to the campus of Midway High School as we have a good game here. Round the Rock, Kayla Green pull up a footer and the ball game is tied. Now coming up for the Lady Lions is Duffy. Duffy drives the lane, tries to find a teammate, but it's going to go back the other way as it bounced on the end line. Now Round Rock with their first chance to take the lead since the opening possession. And a bounce pass errant there from Taylor Banks as the Lady Lions get yet another turnover and on the dribbles, Arika Duffy. Yeah, she just lost the handle on that one. She wanted to kick it over. It was a right idea, just bad execution. Now the Lady Lions with Hamani Pittman, top of the key. Back to Duffy. Now Duffy finds the seam, tries to go through. Christian thinks she got all ball, but we have a whistle, and it looks like a foul is going to be called there, and it's going to be called, I believe, on Christian, so that'll be her first. So at the free throw line for the Lady Lions is Arika Duffy. We're tied at seven here early on in the second quarter. You know, Matt, the first free throw is always the hardest one to make. Yeah, we've seen that a common theme here is each time to the line, we've gotten one, but being the latter half in that first quarter, Duffy's second. No good, too, and with the rebound now, and quickly out to Christian. Now Christian with her eyes up, and 
dribbling off of the foot, but the ball crowd and finding a teammate there. A very smart play on the ground was Taylor Banks and still able to find it out to a teammate while on her hips. Well, Coach Palazuelos called a timeout there. She saw that nothing was happening with her teammate on the ground with the ball. Instead of risking a turnover, she wanted to call a timeout. Welcome back to the campus of Midway High School in the 52nd Annual MT Rice Tournament. Round Rock inbounds there and going to be out of bounds as not able to hold on to it was Ariel Briscoe. Yet another turnover for Round Rock and turnover has really been the one issue that has plagued the Lady Dragons early on. Well, you know, she just checked in the game. She's also a freshman, so give her a little time to get, get loose. This might be one of the biggest games and I'm, I'm sure the biggest tournament that she's played in in her young uh, high school career. Oh, and a baseline jumper, nothing but the bottom of the net by Gentiqua Gill. Nine to seven lead and a deep outlet pass, but cannot be corralled there by Chloe Armstrong, but the hustle nearly strips it away, and we're gonna get a push foul there. I believe they're gonna call that one on Taylor Banks, so. Lady Lions will have possession here and inching up now 16 fouls for the Lady Dragons. So Waco will be shooting the rest of the way. On the dribble is Pittman. Now she hands it off and then finds Duffy top of the key. Uh, way too much on it, but crashing the boards there. Taylor Dean with a great play to get the offensive board and put it back in. Again, when you're in a zone, you don't have a man, so there's not someone to block out. Therefore, it leaves an easy offensive, uh, offensive rebound opportunity. Yeah, missed down low by Taylor Banks, nearly able to deflect it away. And now Waco back with the ball. You got Duffy over to the right side, looking to find and now, now it's crossed back across, and Duffy back with the ball. And she gets a little bit of a roll, a kiss, a roll, and it's back in. And now there's a quick 6-0 run here, the past minute 20 by the Lady Lions. And gonna have a foul there as Green drove straight in on Diamond Irvin, and looks like they're gonna call the foul on Irvin, sending Kayla Green to the line. And Green, we talked about her big game against Leander with 15 points, but also had nine points most recently, just a few days ago at Westwood. Green's done a good job. She's, she's really doing a good job for them and helping keep them in the game. Yeah, she was one that leaked out earlier to break the press, also had that impressive steal on the far side, so very active here early on in this first half. She's one of the the few players I think that has some of the speed and quickness to match up with the Waco High Lady Lions. Yep, and Irvin with the rebound is not able to get either free throw on that end. And now Waco with some momentum on a 6-0 run. Duffy with a jumper can be no good and they're gonna get a push and I believe they're gonna call that one on Gentiqua Gill of the Waco High Lady Lions. So inbounding will be Christian. We've seen her inbounding throughout this whole first half and now bringing the ball up for Round Rock there was Danny Hildum. Now Christian, she finds a lane, she exploits it, gets down into the paint and gonna have a foul call. There are three lines converging, but they call the foul on Erika Duffy. Well again, Christensen, Christian did a great job there of just finding that scene, getting in there. She's a real smart player, which explains why she has not come out of the game yet for Coach Palosuelos. As now, we see on the far side, green elbow jumper. A little bit too much on it is the loose ball. It's being scuffled for on the ground, and a lot of pressure there by Round Rock. Good hustle, but they're going to get the timeout by the Lady Lions. Smart call there. That called by head coach Ross Barber, and we'll take a timeout. Welcome back to the campus of Midway High School in this 52nd annual MT Rice Tournament as watching the Lady Lions on top of the Lady Dragons by a score of 13 to 7. As ball deflected out of bounds and staying with the Lady Lions as we see 
Five starters back on for Waco High. A nice pass inside, finding Diamond Irvin, not able to finish, and now Round Rock with the ball, and quickly up court as Green has it across the timeline, eyes up, looking for a teammate. She decides to pull up and take a three in and out, nearly in, and loose ball on the court, and it's gonna be rolled out of bounds and to the Round Rock Lady Dragons. You know, Matt, I don't mind that shot by Green there. That was a, a good shooter taking a good shot on the wing, trying to get something going for a team here that needs a basket. And we're going to have a foul called there, and it's going to be a push. I believe that one's going to be called against Ariel Briscoe, one of the five Round Rock players that are freshmen. Now, Round Rock without a couple of their junior and senior guards, so playing a little shorthanded today, but multiple freshmen in action already. Danny Hilden here, she brings it across the timeline now. Kayla Green on the right side, looking to find her teammate. Finds Christian off the glass, it's good, and that's a good play right there. So a bit of a gift, one of those turnovers handed back to the Lady Dragons as Green brings the ball up court. She is guarded by Taylor Dean. Now to her left, and three from Christian. Nothing but the bottom of the net, a quick bucket there with Matt, an eight. Matt, you notice that Green is bringing the ball up a lot when Waco High's putting more pressure on. She's a junior, she's a little bit more of a veteran, she's handled the ball a little bit more, and Christian can, can shoot the ball. And it, it, this what, what this does is opens up her for more jump shot opportunities. You notice two possessions ago off the travel by Hagemeyer, Christian made a three-pointer after the whistle, and now she's made one here, obviously before the whistle in game.